Welcome to the first video of the biomass chapter. In this video we're going to cover the very first syllabus dot point which says explain what is meant by a condensation polymer. So we have to be able to explain um, what a condensation polymer is. But before we start we're going to make sure we know the difference between an addition polymer and a condensation polymer. So I'll go over again what, it, what an addition polymer was. An addition polymer was something that we covered in the last chapter and it's simply more or less the idea that you have two more, two monomers joined together. But how they join together is important. So we have two ethylenes here. So each of these is an ethylene monomer. Remember that monomer just meant monomer meant one unit, so mono meant one, and mer meant unit. So these are monomers. And we want to make sure they become a polymer. So poly means many. Poly means many and mer means unit. So we want to make sure we um, join them end to end. right? So to make that happen we have to break this double bond. So all ethylene molecules have a double bond and that allows us to make them join end by end. So double bond and we will break that. So this arrow here indicates that we will join them together. At the moment they're separate but we'll join them together. So what you can imagine will happen is we're going to have this here breaking, so these double bonds breaking. And then you're going to have them joining together. So now they're joined here, so you can see they're joined. And that's not just going to happen once. So I've just done it once, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy paste it to make it happen a couple times. And if that happens, we have a long chain. So now it's six monomers long, now it's uh, four, now it's six monomers long, but you can imagine this might go on for a couple of thousand times, right? So it's going to be quite a long chain. But this is an addition polymer, and with an addition polymer we are just, so the one big thing is we've joined monomers, right? So we've added them end by end, but also there was nothing lost. There was no molecule lost. I'm going to go over why that is important because that's the difference between one of the big difference between addition polymer and a condensation polymer. Right, so a condensation polymer was for example when you have two beta glucose molecules joined together. Now this word beta glucose, I use the example beta glucose, two beta glucose monomers, so each of these here, these circles, cyclo, uh, cyclohexane which is also called a beta glucose, is a monomer. A mono means one and mer means unit. So each of these is an individual unit. But what we want to do is we want to bring them together. And how we're going to make that happen is they will, be, they will be binding right here. This will be the area where they're binding together. And to make that happen, we will actually lose something. So that's a big difference, but I'll show that happen as well. So. You, you can imagine they will bind that this oxygen here, these two glucose molecules, but the rest, so all of these, this hydrogen and this uh, hydroxide group will actually be lost. And when they will join together and be lost, and they will form water. So I'll, here, if you look over here, this is when they're joined together. So we've got two glucose molecules, beta glucose molecules joined together, and now we have lost, so I will underline it here. We've lost a water molecule. So to make that bond happen, to make a condensation polymerization happen, we have to lose a water molecule. So they have bound here, so this was that one I underlined, this one over here. This is where they bind. But these other ones that are underlined in pink are lost, so they are removed. So we have linked them together. So addition polymer and condensation polymer, the one thing they have in common is they all, so they join monomers together, join monomers. But the big difference is in the condensation, mon mon uh, condensation polymer, you usually lose a molecule. So we lose a small molecule in the process. So we have to, something will condensate out. And that is usually, so water, either water or it can be things like ammonia as well. But in most cases, the cases, most of the cases we deal with in this, in this chapter are water itself. So 
water condensating or being lost. So I'm going to go over, so the actual name for this, this is an important name, if you have more and more of these beta glucose molecules drawn together, that was called cellulose. And we will go over cellulose a lot in this chapter, because this chapter is pretty much all about cellulose. There are other ones as well, so for example starch, glycogen, amino acids, um, proteins, they're all drawn together through, through these condensation polymerizations. Right. Addition polymer was more the plastics, especially when it comes to ethylene and polyethylene. So this was polyethylene on top, and we've got cellulose polyethylene, so poly because there's more than one monomer, and ethylene because there's many of them attached together. And this was called cellulose, and cellulose is a condensation polymer because we lose a small molecule, whereas um, polyethylene is an addition polymer because all we do is we add things bit by bit. We do break a double bond, but that's not losing. So we don't lose a small molecule. We don't lose an atom at all. So there's only adding things. Nothing is lost. No molecules lost in addition polymer. Whereas in a condensation polymer, we have them joined together, the monomers joined together, but we lose a small molecule, which are usually water, but it can also be ammonia as well. Um, yeah, and your HSC, you need to know, you need to be able to explain both what a condensation polymer is and what an addition polymer is. It's good to, if you know the difference between the two. Hope that was useful.